Hi, Dr. Charles Schubert, urologist and director of the Prostate Clinic here on the Gold Coast. The following video is here to provide an overview for you if you are waiting a Urolift implant. A Urolift implant is a type of minimally invasive uh, surgery that is used to improve the way that men pee. If so if men have urinary symptoms that are related to prostatic enlargement, a Urolift implant can help. In essence, a Urolift implant, the simplest way to think about it is that it's a form of uh, medical or urological staple. It's a procedure that involves uh, stapling open the sides of the prostate uh, to relieve any obstruction that may be present compressing the outlet pipe of the bladder or the urethra. The procedure is done in hospital under a general anaesthetic and usually takes about 20 minutes or so to perform. Before you have a treatment, you will have a urine test to make sure that there is no infection. The majority of these men do not need to present to pre-admission clinic as this uh, for most men can be day surgery only. If the procedure is combined with a bladder neck incision, which is a procedure that we perform for men if the, the mainstay of their obstruction is related to the junction between the bladder and the prostate, then in that subgroup of individuals a catheter is inserted at the end of the procedure and those men will remain in hospital overnight. But if a man is purely having a Urolift implant alone, the majority of those people are discharged on the same day as treat of treatment. So a Urolift implant is appropriate for, in my opinion, for a certain subgroup of individuals. Not every prostate is amenable to a Urolift implant and not every individual, if they did have a Urolift implant, would get a durable improvement in the way that they pee. In my experience, I find that Urolift is an appropriate treatment option for men if they have a simple bilobar obstruction, which means that the compression to the outlet pipe of the prostate is coming from the sides and that there is no growth of prostate tissue inside the bladder. That's called a median lobe. Although there are some uh, case series of individuals having treatment uh, with Urolift for their median lobes, in my experience, Whilst we can expect to see an improvement in the way that they pee, there is the potential for a lack of durability, meaning that there's a greater risk of requiring retreatment in that population cohort. So in my practice, men, if they have simple bilobar BPH or obstruction from the prostate coming from either side, and their prostate size is around 50 cc's or less, these individuals can experience a big improvement in Urolift that is durable. The procedure is done in hospital at Pindara Private Hospital. It's done under a general anaesthetic and the procedure is all performed endoscopically, which means that a telescopic camera or a very small camera is inserted through the penis and the Urolift clips or staples are inserted internally to retract the lateral aspects or the sides of the prostate to unobstruct the bladder. On average, four clips are used and the procedure usually takes between 15 to 20 minutes to perform. As I indicated previously, the majority of men are treated as uh, day cases, so men can go home on the same day as their treatment, and the majority of men, if they have a simple urolift implant alone, do not require to be catheterized at that time. What you can expect after surgery is some stinging and burning when you pee. It's not uncommon for men to experience some discomfort in their perineum, which is the space behind their, their testicles and in front of their back passage. You are given, men are given uh, painkillers or analgesics uh, to take home, and for the majority of people, this discomfort usually settles down within around three to five days. Again, the first thing that men notice is that their flow is significantly improved and with time, any frequency and urgency gradually declines. For the majority of men in my practice, uh, a questionnaire, which is called an International Prostate Symptom Score uh, form, is completed prior to uh, surgery and is also used uh, as a means of follow-up to assess the benefit that a particular man has uh, received from the treatment.
on average, uh, I would expect a 50% improvement in that questionnaire when men complete it at about the three month mark uh, for review. Uh, with this treatment, one of the aims of this treatment obviously is that it's uh, minimally invasive. It's performed in the majority of cases as a day uh, case only. Uh, there is no catheter that is required. One of the benefits really is also the minimal impact it has on sexual function. So men are very unlikely to have any disruption either to their erectile function and are very unlikely to experience any change in their ejaculatory function. One of the potential trade-offs, however, is that no prostate tissue is actually removed and there is a, uh, a risk within four to five years, a significant risk of around 20% that those individuals may require retreatment uh, during that time frame. If you have any comments or questions, uh, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments section below. Or if you are awaiting a Eurolift uh, at this practice, please, if you do have any outstanding questions, contact the office before we proceed on. Hope this helps.